Happened. Watch your feet. What am I gonna do about you? <gasps> wow, that's a smell. We should go. Now. Wait, don't leave. Treat you guys to a bowl if you help with the ingredients. The pumpkin put up a fight. The knife I've got wasn't long enough to chop it in one clean go. Had to get stabby. And that bulbous bastard. The onion. I mean, I had to close my eyes while I cut it. But that might have been a bad call. I feel ya. Gungaga mushroom soup. It smells pretty good, all in all. Unfortunately, it's lacking in the flavor department. That's the problem. It needs something, but... I'm not sure what. Maybe some more Gungaga mushrooms to do the trick. Or a hunk of cat meat. Let's not. So, what more do you need? Hmm. Morgan's vegetables. That dog's probably parked near the village entrance, selling his produce. You mind swinging by and picking up some of this stuff for me? Torgan's produce is some of the best around, or so everyone says. When he comes to town, his stuff sells out quick. Sweet boy you are, staying behind for me. You'll be good to Torkin now, you hear? Did you just pay that dog money? Oh, him? That's Melon, Torkin's pup. He comes by from time to time to sell their farm's produce. We grow our own veggies here in town too, but the ones from Torkin's field are especially delicious. Come on, let's go after him. boy. How'd it go today? Good? Hello. Not seen you before. Out of towners? Just visiting, yeah. So, could we buy some of your produce? Can't help you. Don't sell to out of towners. Barely got enough for the locals as is. Judging by them duds you got on, you're city folk, ain't you? I ain't about to sell the bounty of my soil to young'uns who ain't never got down in the muck with me and mine. Now get. I don't know the first thing about farming, but I do know how happy these veggies are. Can practically hear them. Got an eye for the stuff. 
but you're telling me you got near too? What's this one saying? Something about how rich the soil is. How it can thrive and spread its roots deep. Grow big and strong. I'll be. Oh, quit with the guilt tripping, now, will ya? You know perfectly well I wasn't gonna leave them high and dry. Huh. We ain't seeing any more customers today, I reckon. So whatever we got left over is yours for the take. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. They finally learned to talk back. <laughs> We're actually trying to make Gungaga mushroom soup. What do you think we should use? Any advice would be great. At the risk of stating the obvious, you'll need some quality Gungaga mushrooms. Or better yet, some Maganga mushrooms. They'll take that soup of yours to the next level. Things go on a hill near here, but unless you got one hell of an eye, better to rely on a chocobo. They're flavorful suckers, so three cats ought to more than suffice. Pick them one at a time, though, if you want to keep your bird from getting all at it. Their aroma can be mighty powerful. And be mindful of the beasties, too. A lot of types are awful fond of the mushroom scent. Gotcha. Ah, and you can't forget the salt. Nothing brings out the flavor better than a sprinkling. And Magunga mushrooms being what they are, you're gonna want to savor it. Proper kind of salt for it's got a color close to this. Now then, you get them where they need to go.
Slightly different colors. Let's see. Well, one of these Automatch Torkin's picture. Feels like a waste to grind him up. Now, 
Next up are the Magunga mushrooms. Torkin said we'll need a chocobo to sniff them out.
Remember, no feeding the wildlife. Things are gone. Morgan was talking about. Though we're gonna need a chocobo to search. Plucked. 
more of them ought to be around here somewhere. Okay, back to the birds. One more to go. Let's use the chocobos to find the last mushroom.
Don't overdo it. Why now? This ain't nothing. Hell yeah! Final. Let's not mess this up.
should be it for the mushrooms. Yep, looks like we're done done. Let's get this stuff to Cisne. Enjoy your new home in the trash can. Am I ever gonna get this right? We come bearing ingredients. Why don't you give it one more shot? I can pitch in too. Well, since you guys went to the trouble. Okay, one more shot. Always inviting me over for dinner. Thought I'd be nice and return the favor by making them poison, apparently. But as you can see, I'm a sore loser. Cooking's never as easy as you think. Got that right. Didn't need to learn back in Midgar. The company provided all our meals. Tasted like garbage, though. Don't know how I stomach the stuff. That bad, huh? <laughs> but what about the bombberry flavor? Bomberry? What, like the military rations? Yeah, those. Uh, sorry, that's really not important. Uh, what is important is the soup. The soup! Time to taste test! <gasps> Whoa there, might want to let it cool. Right. Oops. That's pretty good. You can really taste the Gangaga mushrooms. This flavor is incredible. Great job. <laughs> As for what next, maybe something easier.
all the way out here. In this wee hut. <laughs> Talk about rustic. Then again, a life without Mako. Uh, it's not without its charm, is it? In fact, this could be a whole new string to the Shinra Resort Ball, eh? The Rural Getaway! Cast off modernity and embrace eternity! You'd be surprised how many people would go for it. Is it could be a nice little learn? Uh, not making any progress at all. Surely this isn't your very best. Get to the heart of the problem. What's wrong with you? Why would you try that? <laughs> to hell with it. Back to square one. Huh? Who are you? Whatever, I don't have time to. <sighs> that poem. Magnificent arm! Uh, it is a weapon, but how does it work? Uh, a universal adapter, allowing you to switch out weapons at will. But look at all these scratches. Wait, have you been going around punching things with your attachments? Uh, occasionally. Doing so ought to have given you multiple bone fractures. But this unique cylinder provides unparalleled shock absorption, allowing for high-impact performance! Who was the genius that built this? An old friend, I guess. Don't know where he's at now, though. Uh, wait right there! <laughs> Eureka! The... <laughs> Sorry, got carried away. My name's Izo. I've been trying to create the ultimate weapon, but my attempts have all failed miserably. But thanks to you, I've finally made a breakthrough. I must harness the inspiration while I can. Please, help me build it. Gather the materials I need. I'm originally from Junon, but I could hardly breathe there. So I decided to leave it all behind. I wandered in search of somewhere I could build my weapons in peace. And eventually, I wound up here. Not a bad place, huh? Of course, materials can be hard to come by when you live out here in the sticks. Though it seems crude at a glance, look close. The craftsmanship is remarkable. Whoever made it must have been a specialist in a completely different field. No mere weaponsmith would have been half as clever. Indeed. I've made it my life's work. Frustrating though it's been. How to conceive a weapon I lack the vocabulary to describe. Well, if all you need is some material, sure. Why not? Just leave it to us. Wonderful, thank you. I believe I left a map in my storage shed that you can use to find what I need. Grab that before you head out, and you shouldn't have any trouble. Don't forget about that materials map I left in my storage shed. If you want to help me out, you'll need to know where to look. and decked his ass. In the old days? If it ain't the brethren, it's the past, son. Must be the map. 
Izo was talking about. Don't know what else it'd be. Well, let's see where it takes us. You ready? Is 